Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to load Android apps on the BlackBerry Q10. The first step involves us setting up the phone into development mode and the second step is using a few pieces of software, DDPB, which is a dedicated app or using the Google Chrome extension. The first half of the video, we're just gonna walk you through what you need to do on your phone. Second step of the video is at your PC. So as you can see here, we have our Q10 and we have a number of side loaded apps on here right now. Instagram, Google Maps, Pulse, Marvel Comics, Kindle. And if we wanted, we can put Netflix and a number of other cool apps here. Well, how did we get these on? Well, it's it's a difficult process, but the first time. And then it becomes incrementally easier next time you do it. So the first thing that you want to do is go to your settings. See a lot of options here. We're not concerned with any of them other than security and privacy. And then at the bottom here, you'll see development mode. By default, this should look exactly the same as on your end. We're simply going to click it on. And then we're just going to type in a random password. Now, this development password is important to remember because when you use your PC and then this next step of the video, it's going to ask you for the development mode password. Also, when you connect this up to your computer and if you have BlackBerry Link, it might ask you for a password. When it's asking you for a password, it means a development password. Um, also, if your phone goes into standby mode, it will ask you for a password in essence, that is your development password. So make sure it's something that you'll remember and you will not forget. So before you start using lowercase letters, uppercase letters, spaces, colons, parentheses, and so on, make sure that you can type this in easy because you're gonna be typing this in a lot. So the next step of our video is going to be plugging in uh, this to our PC via the micro USB cable on the side here. So stay tuned. Okay, what we've done now is plug our Q10 into our PC via the micro USB to USB cable. And the next thing that we need to basically do is download a special piece of software. In order to copy bar files to your phone, you have to download an app here which is load Android apps on Playbook and BB10. It's right on the main sidebar here. Very easy to find. This is what you want. So we're just gonna click on this briefly. Okay, version number, date upload, how many times it's been downloaded. Uh, number of videos here that walk you through the process with the playbook, Z10, Q10, as well as step-by-step -step written instructions. To make this easy on you, all we're gonna do is just simply click download. And this is an MSI file, which is Windows. We do have a Mac option available, and it's under our essential apps here. So if you have a Mac, there's video tutorials and everything for that. Now, when you download the MSI, it's basically a self-installing Windows file. Just click Save File and then run it. It's very small, 1.6 megs. What's in once it's installed, this is what you'll see here. It's a pretty basic interface, but remember your IP. This is the developer IP. What you have is is, is what you have on your Q10 should be this. If it's not, don't worry about it. What you obviously want to do is just click scan. And I have multiple BlackBerry devices, so I'm just going to select this one. And now you have to remember your developer password. This is the one that I said it was very important. I just simply use the word look. And you could actually hit this to make your password available. And then press connect. If you see an error message about jar files or anything to do with like Java, you have to actually install Java 32. Despite the fact that you may have a 64-bit OS, it's pretty important to have Java 32. Uh, it's quite easy to download. You just open up, you know, your web browser of choice, Java 32. 
and you know download links are all right here very easy to find if you m see any error that asks you for a jar file that means you do not have java on your laptop pc and whatnot you have to install it now that we're actually connected you should see blackberry 10 your pin number may be different and your f f firmware should be different as well the next thing that we want to do is click you know download a bar file um we have plenty on our site so Currently, we have like 3,000 plus bar files. Uh, we also have Android files too. So let's say that we want to, I don't know, let's download Square It. It's a new photo app. This is just one of our new apps that we've uploaded just in the last few days, May 15th. We're just going to download this. Save it to our PC. You can see it's a quick download. We also have genres here. So if you're looking for something specific, you should look for that. Uh, we also have an APK to bar converter. So if, we, we, if you don't see the app that you want on our website, you can actually upload your own Android app and we'll convert it to a bar for you via our automated tools. So you can see a number of apps here. You can scroll back in time and look at previous apps or if you want you can just search for a term such as Kindle and see all the different Kindle versions that people have uploaded using our converter very useful tool once we have the bar file installed as you can see we have a lot of bar files here and it's hard to remember which one I just downloaded so I'm just gonna pick one at random And I'm going to click install. If I wanted to, I could have actually selected all of those bar files and just did a mass install if I wanted to. So you could do one app or you can do over 100 apps. It doesn't really matter. This is just the process that you'll see. It usually takes a few minutes just depending on the size of the app. Should give you some progress. Once the app is at 100%, it's actually loaded on your Q10, and you'll be able to actually use the app. All the apps that we post on our website are verified working with the Z10 and Q10, so you shouldn't have any problems. If you are converting your own apps, it's an exercise in patience and trial and error. Not all Android apps will work on the Q10. But you can experiment for yourself using our tool, or you can choose from one of our many apps listed on our main website here. So this has been a tutorial on how to sideload in Android apps on the BlackBerry Q10. Please comment on this video if you have any questions, concerns, or if you need any further clarification. And for all the latest apps, you can visit apps.goodyreader.com. And for all the latest news, previews, and everything else, visit goodyreader.com. And for Goody Reader, my name is Michael, and everybody take care. Cool.